Shortly after midnight on May the 14th, 2008, Brandon Swanson drove his car into a ditch on his way home from celebrating the end of the spring semester with fellow students. Uninjured, he got out and called his parents on his cell phone. Unsure of his exact location, he told them he believed he was near Lind, and they drove out to pick him up. However, they were unable to locate him. Swanson remained on the phone with them until he abruptly ended the call 45 minutes later, after exclaiming, oh shit. He has not been seen or heard from since. Jack the Ripper was an unidentified serial killer active in the largely impoverished areas in and around the Whitechapel District of London in 1888. He's credited with five kills, however that number could be much higher. No one knows exactly what happened to Jack the Ripper, although it's rumored that he died in the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. The smiley face murder theory is a theory that alleges a number of young men found in bodies of water across several Midwestern American states from the 1990s to the 2010s didn't accidentally drown, as concluded by law enforcement agencies, but were victims of a serial killer or group of killers. On Christmas Eve, December the 24th, 1945, a fire destroyed the solder home in Fayetteville, West Virginia, United States. At the time, it was occupied by George Sauter, his wife Jenny, and nine of their children. During the fire, George, Jenny, and four of the other nine children escaped. The bodies of the other five children have never been found. The Sauters believed for the rest of their lives that their five missing children had survived. Now, they'd hired a detective to try and find their missing kids. However, just like their missing kids, he too disappeared. State and federal efforts to investigate the case into the 1950s yielded no information. The family did, however, later receive what may have been a picture of one of their boys as an adult during the 1960s. Their one surviving daughter, along with their grandchildren, have continued to publicize the case in the 21st century, in media and online. A broadcast signal hijacking of two television stations in Chicago, Illinois was carried out on November the 22nd, 1987 in an act of video piracy. The station's broadcasts were interrupted by a video of an unknown person wearing a Max Headroom mask and costume, accompanied by distorted audio. The first incident took place for 29 seconds during the 9pm news broadcast, and the second occurred around 2 hours later for about 90 seconds during a broadcast of Doctor Who. The hacker made references to Max Headroom's endorsement of Coca-Cola, the TV series Clutch Cargo, WGN anchor Chuck Swordsley, and all the greatest world newspaper nerds, a reference to WGN's call letters which stand for World's Greatest Newspaper. A choreographed panel swiveled back and forth, mimicking Max Headroom's geometric background effect. The video ended with a pair of exposed butt cheeks getting spanked by a fly swatter before normal programming would resume. The culprits were never caught or identified. John Benet Ramsey was murdered in her own home in 1996. Interestingly, her ransom letter was also written in her own house. Suspects include her parents and her brother, however no one has been charged. Her murder remains one of the creepiest and most unsettling cases left unsolved. Dan Cooper is the cover name of an unidentified man who hijacked a Boeing 727 aircraft in the northwest United States in the airspace between Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington on the afternoon of Wednesday, November 24, 1971. The man purchased his airline ticket using the alias Dan Cooper, but because of a news miscommunication, he became known in popular lore as D.B. Cooper. He extorted $200,000 in ransom and parachuted to an uncertain fate. Despite an extensive manhunt preceded by an FBI investigation, the perpetrator has never been located or identified, and remains the only unsolved case of air piracy in commercial aviation history. The legend of the Green Children of Woolpit concerns two young children of unusual skin color who reportedly appeared in the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, England sometime in the 12th century. The children, who were brother and sister, were pretty normal looking except for the green color of their skin. They spoke in an unknown language and would only eat raw aboard beans. 
Eventually, they learned to eat other food and they lost their green color. Eventually, they learned to eat other food and they lost their green color. But the boy was sickly and died soon after he and his sister were baptized. The girl adjusted to her new life, but she was considered to be a, quote, rather loose and wantom in her conduct. After she learned to speak English, the girl explained that she and her brother had come from St. Martin's Land, a subterranean world inhabited by green people. The Colonial Parkway murders were committed by an apparent serial killer who is believed to have murdered at least eight people along the Colonial Parkway in the state of Virginia between 1986 and 1989. During that time, three couples were murdered and one couple is missing presumed to be dead. All in all, he ended up claiming eight people's lives. On the 17th of December 1967, Harold Holt, the Prime Minister of Australia, disappeared while swimming in the sea near Chevrolet Beach. A massive search operation was held, but his body was never recovered. Holt was eventually declared dead after no trace of the Prime Minister was found. Now it's generally agreed that his disappearance was simply a case of accidental drowning, but a number of conspiracy theories have still surfaced, most famously is the suggestion that he had been collected by a Chinese submarine. In the year 1900, four men disappeared off the face of the earth in the Ellen Moore Lighthouse. The logs detailed that a storm had been battering the lighthouse for days, and the final log stated that the storm had passed, and that God was good. When a cargo ship came to deliver them food and they couldn't find any of the men, they decided to check the log, only to come to the horrifying conclusion that there was never a storm. At his farm near Odom, Indiana, William Hacker was on his way to the family barn when he smelled smoke. He quickly returned to his house only to discover a fire in the upstairs bedroom. Note that the house had no electricity. Firefighters were quickly called and the fire was extinguished, but this would soon happen again. And again. And by the end of the day, 28 seemingly spontaneous fires were extinguished in the Hackler house. The Missing 411 refers to a group of people who have all mysteriously disappeared inside of U.S. national parks. It's unknown if this is done by a killer or it's just a major coincidence. The Cause 2 was a yacht that was found 88 nautical miles off the northeastern coast of Australia on the 20th of April 2007. The fate of its three-man crew remains unknown and the mysterious circumstances in which they disappeared has been compared to that of the Mary Celeste. What list of unsolved mysteries would be complete without mentioning Area 51? The United States government says that Area 51 is just a normal air base, however they are very, very secretive about it. Now this photo that you see on screen now was leaked by a worker in the late 2000s. After it was leaked, he and his entire family disappeared. No investigation was ever conducted to try and find them. The Dyatlov Pass incident was an event in which nine Russian hikers died in the northern Ural Mountains between the 1st and 2nd of February 1959. During the night, something caused them to tear their way out of their tents and flee their campsite, all while inadequately dressed for the heavy snowfall and sub-zero temperatures. After the group's bodies were discovered, an investigation by Soviet authorities determined that six had died from hypothermia, while the other three showed signs of physical trauma. One victim had a fractured skull, two others had chest fractures, and the body of one was missing both of its eyes. Another one was missing a tongue. The investigation concluded that a compelling natural force had caused the deaths. Numerous theories have been put forward to account for these unexplained deaths, including animal attacks, hypothermia, avalanche, military involvement, or some combination of these. Another theory is that a mysterious man or creature captured in one of the pictures murdered them all in their sleep and then dragged some of the bodies away to butcher them. The Bermuda Triangle is known for the disappearance of many planes, ships, and people. No one really knows why this area specifically has so many lives claimed within its borders, however some people think it's aliens or the government. Now it should be noted that planes and boats sail through here all the time and nothing happens. 
Gloomy Sunday is known as the Hungarian Suicide Song, and it has been linked to over 20 suicides throughout history. Because of this, it was banned by the BBC all the way up until 2003. Some reports say that people who heard the song play on the radio would kill themselves while it was playing, having no prior urge to take their own life. In the video you see on screen now, we see the final moments of Elisa Lam. Some theories have claimed that she was possessed by a demon during the time this video was taken, and the footage went viral after her body was found dead in the water storage system on the roof of the hotel she was staying at. People are unsure on whether if this was a suicide or her being murdered. The Devil's Kettle is a famous waterfall in northern Minnesota where one half of the waterfall falls into a hole in the rocks and is never seen again. Some people believe that the waterfall is a portal to another dimension, or even hell itself. The Devil's Kettle waterfall has also been explored in cinema, specifically in 2009's Jennifer's Body. Sad Satan is a PC game that was first reported on the YouTube channel Obscure Horror Corner on the 25th of June 2015. The channel's video of the game soon went viral on the internet as a search was done to try and find who was behind the game. The creator of the game was allegedly a man from Lubbock, Texas named Gary Graves, but the current whereabouts of him and Obscure Horror Corner are unknown. The Devil's Footprints was a phenomenon that occurred during February 1855 around South Devon in England. After a heavy snowfall, trails of hoof-like marks appealed overnight in the snow, covering a total distance of 40 to 100 miles. The footprints were so called because some people believed they were the tracks of Satan, as they were allegedly made by a cloven hoof. The footprints didn't stop for houses, as they walked up the walls and on the roof. No living creature known on this world could do that. The Plague Doctor video is an early 2015 viral video that was sent to GadgetZZ.com. Its black and white segment is 2 minutes in length, and it came from the plain text of a Base64 string written on the DVD. It depicts a person wearing what appears to be a Plague Doctor costume and walking around and standing in a dilapidated abandoned building, with a forest visible through a former window opening in the wall behind it. Accompanied as a soundtrack of loud buzzing noises, the masked figure occasionally holds up a hand with an irregularly blinking light. The film did not have any credits or claims to its ownership. UVB 76 is a radio station that has been continuously operating static for nearly 46 years. Throughout the station's long life, it has only been interrupted three times by a Russian man who reads off random names, among other things. I could make an entire video based on Bigfoot. That's how famous this mystery is. For those who don't know, Bigfoot is considered to be an 8 foot tall ape-like creature who is most commonly found in places like Oregon, Northern California, Washington, and British Columbia. There are countless sightings of Bigfoot, along with several recordings of the creature, the most famous of which is the Patterson-Gilmore film. <laughs> 